Hi, Tribe. So some of you might know, some of you might not know that um, I am now taking a course in SCH hypnosis. It's um, soul empowering hypnosis. So I actually, you know, what called me into hypnotherapy in the first place was this. So this is really what I feel like I'm drawn to do. Um, I read this book called Journey of the Soul by Michael Newton, and that's really what got me into hypnotherapy in the first place, was connecting with my soul. So I feel like that maybe um, that's what I need to do, is connect other people with their souls, okay? So I'm doing that training right now, and yeah, I'm in my third week of it, and it's been really crazy. So basically what we're doing right now is we're just practicing on each other. So um, I'm about to show you a clip of my first session um, I had. And what you have to do is give the um, therapist um, questions that you want to ask your soul, like some basic questions or whatever. So I was just like, you know, I asked the question, why am I called to do this? Um, uh, what is holding me back from abundance? And what are the next steps uh, that I need to take? Those were some questions I uh, wanted to ask my soul. I Also, some of you that know me real well um, know that I just lost my cat in July. And I am still grieving over that. It's, um, well, we had a very strong connection and it really messed me up. Um, so those are some other questions I had that I wanted to ask. I wanted to ask where was my cat Jimmy now and I wanted to know what kind of connection we had and um, if he was going to come to back to me and another kitten that I am on a waiting list for. Um, I wanted to know those questions so that's just you know a little background on that what I wanted to know in the session um, uh, also in the video, um, it takes me a while to get into that trance hypnotic state. So, um, yeah, I wasn't feeling anything at first until like we started going into the portal or whatever. So you're going to see that. And so, yeah, also in the very beginning, my other cat, she starts getting in my lap and bothering me and it was kind of irritating me. So I pushed her off really abruptly, which is kind of funny because you could totally see me go boop. So uh, yeah, that is um, what's happening in that part. Um, so right as soon as she says his name, Jimmy, um, you can immediately see on my face, uh, my whole expression changes. Because right as soon as she said his name, he jumped out from nowhere, came around the corner, interrupted my soul, and just took over the whole thing. And I am trying to keep my cool, stay calm, and not just break down and start bawling um, to, when this happens. And uh, it was a very emotional time So for me. So, yeah. Also, um... Uh, it's pretty much self-explanatory. Um, then there's this other part where she asked me if we would like to move on and go explore the rest of this. Um, and I, and she's asked if I would like to take my cat Jimmy with me. And I said, yes, of course. And when I said that he came and jumped into, um, I used to keep him in this like little pouch thing that I would wear. And so he like jumped into this little pouch thing when she said that. Like, he's like, okay, let's go. And so you can see me, my head, and I look, I start looking down. Like, because he totally did it. So you can see exactly when he, that happens. It's kind of crazy. So also, I want to expand on the very beginning part. Um, whenever I got out of the portal, um, she's asking me what I'm seeing and stuff. And I was seeing, like, these castles and these stairs that went all the way up to them. And I didn't really understand what the hell I was seeing. Uh, I went all the way up the stairs to the entrance to the doorway. And it was like these teeth things coming down. And I do say there that it looks like a cave. And so I didn't realize it. But um, later on, you know, hours later after, 
I am sitting here looking at my crystals, right? And they weren't that far from me. Um, I don't know if anybody's into crystals or anything, but I am. And these are uh, Lemurian seed crystals. And what sets these apart from other crystal quartz is they have these little marks in them that look like stairs. And um, so they say that whenever you want to connect with a crystal and set an intention for it, you need to sit down and meditate with it, holding it, and envision yourself going up the stairs and inside the crystal and talk to it and set it your intention for what you want it to do, help you with, right? So I actually think that I was connecting with my crystals. And I think that was what that was. Um, after, because I was meditating with these things later on. And that's what I was seeing was what I was seeing whenever I was under hypnosis. I was going up these stairs. And so I said it was like cave-like things. So I think like it, this would be what it would look like if, I don't know. So that's my take on it. I don't know. Let me, me let me know guys what y'all think. So yeah, I have edited it out. So you can only see me and you can't see her. You can hear her voice, but out of respect and privacy for her, you know, you can only see me. You know, I don't care what y'all know or see about me. I'm, you know, an open book, okay? So, I didn't edit any part of it out. So you can see the whole thing all the way from beginning to end. And so, it's kind of cool. Um, Just getting an inside look on the whole soul empowering hypnosis. Because uh, that's what I'm going to be doing pretty soon. So, yeah. Um, caution. It is a little intense and emotional. For anybody that's ever lost a pet or a really close loved one, uh, this is pretty emotional. So, here we go. Take a look. Uh, okay, cool. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay. No okay. problem. You can start. You don't have to start over. Okay. <laughs> Feel the whole body relax from your head to your toes. And as you're taking those deep, relaxing breaths, enjoy the oxygen as it flows in with each in-breath. And with each out-breath, feel every tension leave. Breathe out, exhale, and let them go. You are protected and safe. Only love and light surrounds you. Relaxing more and more with each out breath as you continue taking those deep relaxing breaths imagine a beautiful light you decide what color coming in from your head and that this light is spreading into your body from your head to your toes. This beautiful light is healing your body and making you Go even deeper as it expands through your cells that are being filled with new energy. Your whole body system gets updated with this life-giving light. The inner light will follow 
and guide you. You will be protected and safe. Now, go ahead and from your heart, send out an invitation, a request, letting your soul, your guides, your spirit friends, the universe, know that you're open and you're ready for the loving wisdom, the healing energy, the helpful guidance that they would like to share with you. Sending that invitation now from your heart and just let me know when this request is complete. Take your time. There's never any rush. Yeah. Good. Now, if you would like, go ahead and invite in a really loving, beautiful being with wings. Maybe a bird or a butterfly an angel, dragon, or a fairy, any loving being with wings and let it come in however it would like to. You may see it or sense it or hear it or just know that it's there. Take your time and let me know what you're experiencing when you're ready. Mm. I don't have anything yet. Okay. Shall we move on? Yes. <laughs> this nice, neutral place is the perfect starting point to move to the place that you're meant to be. From this nice, natural place, begin to feel as drops of energy slowly fall down into pool of energy creating a ripple effect as each drop falls into this pool, this portal, taking you to this place that you're meant to be, this place that is waiting for you, 
I'm going to count backwards from ten down to one. With each number, feel as each drop of energy takes you with it deeper and deeper into this pool of loving wisdom energy and to that place that you're meant to be. Ten. Each drop taking you deeper. Nine. Into the portal. To the place that you're meant to be. Eight. Deeper and deeper and deeper. Seven. To that place that's been waiting for you. Six. Five. Moving faster through the portal now. Four. Three. To that place that you're meant to be. Two. Nearly there. One. Outside of the portal and into that place that you're meant to be. Be there. Take your time and when you're ready, let me know what you're experiencing. There's never any rush. <laughs> oh, I see like um uh it's like all these castles and it's like um it's like they're in, uh they're like really high up up in the sky and <laughs> there's these like uh stone steps that going all the way up to it and they're like really long <laughs> and I don't know and I did see a dragon flying around and I thought I saw somebody on it but I'm just I don't know <laughs> Um, okay. No. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that's what I'm experiencing. <laughs> if we take a step, could we take a step up to these castles? Okay. If you would like to see where these steps are leading us. Okay, so like there's like a doorway and then there's like uh, the doorway looks really weird 
it's like the doorway's got like it's like you're walking in <laughs> to like something it's like it's like got teeth <laughs> and mm-hmm. like <laughs> the doorway is like it's got like like a kind of like a cave and everything's purple and red mm-hmm. I don't know. Are you alone? Um, or is it somebody else there? I don't know. How do you feel when you enter there? I feel uh, like I was hesitant. I don't know if I want to go in there. Like, it looks kind of intimidating. So that's why I'm kind of, I'm outside of it. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) But, uh, yeah. Okay, let me go in. Hmm. You are protected. There's like a there's like a man, but I can't make out his face really. I just see the back of his head, and uh, it's got black hair. Mhm. so there's like a blue light up there and then I'm like I'm asking for my soul to help me out here And you see like a blue light up there. Can I ask your soul directly? Yeah. What you are supposed to 
to experience today. Mm, I just am supposed to know how to open up. I just got. Okay, could we ask the questions? <sighs> yeah. If we start with why has Arian been led to take these classes? <laughs> uh, is it, I already know. Why would I ask a question that I already know? <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is like what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, duh, already, you already know. <laughs> okay. So what, what is the next step in life? To be happy. Mm. Just enjoy the moment. Quit thinking about the next step. Mm. Mm. So what is holding Aaron back from other abundance? I am. I won't get out of my own way. <laughs> mm. Okay. <laughs> mm. Can we ask about Jimmy? How were you connected with him? Oh, he's there. <laughs> Is he supposed to come back? Yeah, he's um, he's always with me. That's all he ever wants to do is be, is be with me. <laughs> mm. Well, 
Have your souls been together for a long time? Um, I, yeah, I guess. I think he's just like a part of me. Mm -hmm. You mean like a twin soul or? Yeah, I just don't see any separation. Mm -hmm. We were that close. <laughs> mm. This new kitten that you are going to have, is that related to Jimmy or is it another soul? It's another. It's a, I, I don't think it it's, hasn't even been born yet. Mm. I mean, just, I'm on a waiting list. <laughs> okay. Cat, so, yeah, to get another kitten the same breed as him so i was like okay it'll give him give him enough time to come back <laughs> if i'm mm -hmm. on a waiting list <laughs> okay yeah does he want to come back in in that way <sighs> he wants to but he doesn't know if he can but I mean, if he can, he will. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is there something that Jimmy wants to say to you? It's just all love. That's all. It's all love. <laughs> mm. It's all love. He says, I'm fine. That it wasn't your fault. There's nothing you could do. Hmm. But he didn't leave me. He's always here. I just can't see him. Hmm. Is it any way he can communicate with you with signs? I think he does already. Yeah. Anytime I see like something like something like uh, sparkling in the corner of my eye, that's him. Mm -hmm. And I've been noticing that stuff, but I was that just thought it was like my I don't know. I thought it was I don't know. Yeah. <sighs> so what do you want to say to him? I already said it. He knows mm. I love him. Mm. I tell him all the time. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> he already knows. Mm. So do you think you can be more in peace now when you know he's always around? Yeah. Mm. Do you, he want to send you some healing or some comfort? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> he said, I, hey, I should have known. <laughs> he was going to be one of the first to come forward. <laughs> 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 Okay. okay. Do you want to move on? Yeah. Do you want him to come with you? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Shall we move ahead in the in the cave or do you want to go someplace else? Uh, I don't know. Uh Shall we try to ask your soul some more questions? Okay. Is there any wisdom or advices that Erin should know or could benefit from? Okay. Uh, I need to stay on course, don't lose focus. Just keep moving forward. That's it. Is it something that your soul wants you to explore right now? I'm just uh uh not really mm -hmm. um.
We still have time, but do you think uh, you want to come back or? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I just, Before uh, we bring, yeah. huh? I just uh, yeah, I'm too focused on my cat right now. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I've got him like right uh, in this little pouch that he used to be in. <laughs> he has his um. his tail curled <laughs> around my arm. <laughs> Do you want to be in that? That memory. Stay there. I feel his love. I know that he's always there for you. It's just that he's not here in his physical body anymore. That doesn't mean that he doesn't want to be with you. And if you close your eyes, whenever you like, you can feel his presence and his love for you. Okay. Mm. Yeah. I gotta blow my nose. <laughs> Let's go. I'm dead. <laughs> okay. Before we bring you back, go ahead and send out your love and gratitude to all who helped you with this session. Your soul, your spirit guides. Spirit friends and Jimmy, and let them do the same for you, knowing that they always support you. In just a minute, we will prepare to bring you back. Please know that you come back in a way where you'll be able to do day-to-day -to -day activities just fine driving grocery shopping you will also come back in a way where this excess and connection with your soul can stay open at whatever percentage feels good to you does that feel okay I will count from one to five. When I reach five, you will be awake and aware of the room and ready to go back to your normal life. Just more relaxed and happy. One, you will remember everything. Two, you will keep the wonderful feeling of the healing light through your body whenever you need it. Four, feel your fingers and toes move as you're beginning to wake up. And one, open your eyes with a great feeling that you have a wonderful life. Oh my God. He's tall there. God. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. Oh my God. Mm. <laughs> <laughs>
I was expecting that to happen. <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> <laughs> My nose was running like crazy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was short, I know, but I can't do any more. <laughs> it is, yeah. They're pretty difficult, I think, to get into <sighs> relaxed state. It's difficult when you have a lot of emotions and and but hopefully you got something out of it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, healing takes time and... and I know. <laughs> uh, when somebody that important leave you, I mean, it's... It's going <laughs> to take some time. I know. It was sudden. Like, I didn't you know. he's not, He was nine years old. I thought he had, like, another ten years. And, like, he, had, he got saddle thrombus thrombus it's like it's like sudden and like it was like one second he was in my lap he was fine the next second he was like he his back legs couldn't work and, and he was like oh. in pain and, uh, and it's like he got a blood clot like it like where the back of his top back of his legs uh the veins like why all, the arteries he got a blood oh. clot they said <sighs> and it was like sudden like I thought I had another 10 years <laughs> with those, so. Mm. Hey, Courtney. <laughs> oh. yeah. But you have to let it take time. I mean, it's, yeah. as you said, he was a part of you. Yeah. He, he is a part of you. Yeah. Anyways, okay. Mm. So, uh, you want to take a break and then uh, come back, or yeah, I'm okay. whatever you whatever you lo would like <laughs> to do. If you if we would take a little break, yeah, let me compose myself and uh, yeah, give me like five yeah, minutes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. <laughs> so like, yeah. Okay. All right. Five minutes or so. Yeah. Okay. All right. 